Hi everybody, it's uh, Koinadian. It's August uh, 11th, Sunday, uh, in Thompson, Okanagan area in British Columbia, Canada. So this is kind of what my garden looks like now. I know I've done a couple videos earlier in March and I think April or something, but this is how everything's looking now. It's incredible. That's kale. That stuff just turned out to be like a freaking palm tree. Uh, onions, I just picked uh, 10 pounds of beets yesterday and made uh, canned up uh, 10 half pint uh, beet pickle. Really nice, yep. And so we used uh, apple cider vinegar, Bragg's. Uh, we used uh, real cane sugar and uh, cinnamon and clove and allspice. Real nice. Uh, full row of carrots, we're still, we're still thinning those out. The onions, they're just drying out now, as you can see here. I've got them, I got some pulled, and then I just leave them dry on the mound for a couple of days. That's the way to do it. Uh, you want to pull them when they're in the long tentacles here. These things here, when they start drying out like this, you want to test to see if it's going to get moldy. If it is, you pull it, you dry it. And they just let it sit on the mound, just the way it is. Um, potatoes are doing great. Just starting a little compost pile in the back. Uh, tomatoes and everything just went crazy this year. I mean, look, look at this. I mean, that's just one little section of that plant. It's it's absolutely bananas. And if you go around here and you look inside here, it's just wall to wall tomatoes. Some of them are ripe and some aren't. We got different varieties. These plants are well up to my chest. So I'm wading through here. And we got some really nice Roma, really nice Roma tomatoes too. They are just going crazy. They're all ripe. Spaghetti sauce, anyone? Uh, a couple of beef steak are ripening up, but the tomatoes and stuff. My cucumbers are, <laughs> let's say, going absolutely crazy. Here's one here. You guys can see the size of that thing. It's got to be eight inches. There's another one down in there. It's another monster. We've got, you know, the fair size ones here, which are just, my goodness, they're everywhere. They're just, they're just everywhere, which is really good because that tells me my soil is really good. Another big one down in there, another one there. I mean, if I just dig, they're just sitting everywhere. There's another one there, a couple more in there. So, uh, it's all in the soil, baby, guys, gals. It's all in the soil. This is, uh, I'll tell you the truth, this is my first attempt at a big garden since I was a kid. I've had little gardens, I've had little, you know, hot pepper gardens, a few tomatoes, I've had some sun deck gardens with herbs and things, but this one here was my first real gig at it. Uh, just bringing back old memories from when I was a kid. Grandma said, if it's in the soil, it's good. We didn't have sprays and all that crap, eh? we didn't have that stuff, so we just let the bugs, you see the wildflowers, wildflowers, you know, they attract the bees, the butterflies, and anything just just lots and lots of wildflowers we've got some date daisies or something over here <clears throat> so anyways i was going to talk a little bit about seeds saving your seeds okay so if, if you can see here the bean the beans and peas are drying out right well what i do is i leave when i'm sick of peas and beans i'll just leave them on the vine uh, i've taken most of them off now I'll leave them on the vine and I'll let them dry to a crisp, an absolute crisp. I don't care what they look like. But what you get is, what you get is these really nice crispy dry seeds. There's a pea, you see, completely dry. It's a baby rattle, you know, you could probably make that as a baby rattle. That's what you want, absolutely completely dry. These things are just shriveled right up. But the good thing is, put this down. The good thing is, when you open it up, when you open it up, you've got yourself, you've got seeds for next year. There you go. And they're perfect. They're just like store bought, except you don't buy them now. See that? So let your plants dry out to a crisp, okay? Let them completely dry out and pick the whole thing, leave them inside that pod and keep them in a cool, dark place in a paper bag, not in any Ziplocs or anything, but in a paper bag, loosely uh, secured. But, I mean, look at this. 
Now I've got my seeds just out. Of, this is just a little bit I picked today. I've got another big bag filled with a mixture of the beans and peas that I grew this year. So I just, uh, you know, wait until they're crispy dry and then break them up. Oh, this is really cool. Uh, this is an onion flower. This was a, a flower that was from uh, uh, some bulbs that I'd bought at a retailer store. And uh, I let a couple go to bulb like this. Now inside of each one of these little green, I know, sorry about the video, it's just this video camera, I'm going to have to change over to my other one. Inside of each one of those is about three seeds, right? Now you've got your onions. So I just saved the head, I let it dry up, when it fell off like this and dried, now I've got three seeds per little pod, so I've got about 500 seeds. That is what I do. Now, potatoes. Potatoes have seeds, believe it or not. Here we go. I'm going to go over to the potato plant and I'm going to show you what potato seeds look like. These are on the end of the potato stalks that are going down in there. All right. These things here are extremely toxic. Now I want everybody to understand that these are extremely poisonous. These are not mini potatoes. These are not something you can put in your oven and eat, man. I tell you, do not eat these and do not let your kids eat these. Don't let them chew on them. These things at the end, okay, are the seeds, but they are very, very toxic. I'm going to repeat that. Don't eat these dummies. These aren't green tomatoes either. These are nasty, but they're the seeds. That's basically potato seeds. And I can harvest them if I want. There's some more over here. I can get some more if I want, but I'm just going to buy uh, from my reputable uh, potato guy. He gives me really good quality West Coast uh, seed potato seeds. So yeah, that's it. And it came off of uh, this big stalk. That was where the seeds came from for the onion. So that's about it. The kale is, I mean, you just, you just, that's my hand. There we go. That's, it's, it's a monster. It's like a bush. This thing's just like a bush. I'm going to dry it. I'm going to dry that and put it in my spaghetti sauce. So I've got my dryer and I'm going to shred the whole works. I'm picking to shred the whole works. Uh, hot peppers, we've got, uh, these are scotch bonnets, they're quite small, but phew, don't let the size fool you. Uh, this was Pasillo Bayou, I already picked a whole bunch of them, and they're in my food dryer. Uh, oregano, well it finally took shape, but it's alright. This is what I really want, this is the rosemary. Uh, rosemary is extremely good for you guys. Uh, rosemary tea. I mean, it's just not—it's just not for spaghetti sauce anymore or pork. It's it, the rosemary is a very, very powerful, powerful herb. Uh, the sage, ooh, nice sage and mixed in with thyme. So I just let these things go crazy, and then I hack the whole thing and let them dry. Hang them upside down, let them dry. And uh, yeah, so there's the rest of the beets. You gonna let those finish up? I got 10 pounds yesterday. Uh, we picked uh, 20 pounds of cucumbers two weeks ago and did uh, dills. So in the very same morning, we picked and then processed. Um, the dill pickles are phenomenal. Uh, local grower, uh, you pick kind of thing. And uh, it's a lot of fun for the family. Uh, it's fun for kids, too. They get out there and they can just go crazy in the fields. And uh, So that's basically the August. Uh, we're kind of starting to wind down here in the gardening. Uh, you'd want to do a little pruning, a little weeding, a little, you know, shredding of the extras. And then, like I said, with the peas and beans and stuff, just let them dry out to a crisp. Get your seeds. Get your seeds from your onions. Get your seeds from your tomatoes. I'll do a video on how to process your tomato seeds. Um, it's real easy, but you have to do it proper way. Um, you know, you get your seeds from your peppers. Uh, you can even leave some carrots to go to seed. Then you've got seeds. There you go. Uh, cucumbers, you can get cucumber seeds if you want to, but I got really good supplier for that stuff. So have a, yourself a very wonderful afternoon. It's uh, 3.30 right now in British Columbia. Phew, and it's hot. It's been uh, 34 degrees or so pretty much the whole week. So I'm going to enjoy some shade and have a crisp, cool, wobbly pop for everybody. Okay, bye for now. Enjoy the summer. Rest of it.